I have a prayer that I pray often and most often. Father, let me see what you see. Let me hear what you hear. Let me feel what you feel. And today I want to take accessing his presence, hearing the voice of God, getting prophetic glimpses. I want to take all of that completely out of the realm of mystic or super spiritual or too hard or, or, or some uh, beyond the reach category. And I want to put it where it belongs, completely within your reach. Because God has promised it to us. In fact, he actually commanded us. He actually commanded us to come boldly into that place. He says, come boldly before my throne of grace. Therefore, it must be possible. It has to be possible. And John had a moment like that in John, in Revelation, actually, in chapter 4 and verse 1. We won't read all these scriptures, but it says that as he was looking, and I love that word because it's in the Greek language that it was written in, uh, uh, the word that he uses there is not for a casual glance. It's not for, uh, I should look at that sometime. It's not that kind of a word. It says, as I looked, and the word is a, a, an intense word. It means to peer into with a great excitement as somebody that fully anticipates to see something. And so he was already convinced, I'm going to see something, I'm pressing in, I'm pressing in because I, I know I'm going to see something. And that was the attitude, and it says when he was in prayer and had that kind of an attitude, I'm going to see something from God right now, because he had that kind of an attitude, it says, Father opened a door, opened a portal, and made an opening between his realm of the spirit and John's realm of the natural. And suddenly John could see what Father could see. And it changed his world forever. 